Hi guys, my name's Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress. Welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of the fabrics I don't know what to do with and general chatty <laughs> catch up video. I went downstairs and started editing the uh, video that you will have seen part one of on Friday and it was long. <laughs> <laughs> turns out when I tell myself I can be chatty I really can be chatty so these are the next five um fabrics that I need your help in deciding what to do with um and there was a couple of things I noticed that I hadn't talked about as well that I wanted to so I went to the Tilly and the Buttons launch party for Make It Simple um which was super exciting I um yeah I won tickets I won a pair of tickets on Instagram and I went with Kate who runs the in a haystack pack and I was super excited to see her again because we really get on but we don't see each other very often um and also Lynn who is old soul on Instagram and also is normally one of the first to comment on these videos so hi Lynn um she also won the other tickets and uh, brought along Ivan from getting a stitch so the four of us went along and had a really nice time it was at the village haberdashery which is a fabric shop in london and stroked lots of fabrics <laughs> i'll put in my favorite one here which is a ruby star society cotton linen canvas which i just want dungarees in um that might get purchased at some point and we just had a really lovely time there were lots of people there that i got to meet that i hadn't met before and people that i had been chatting to on instagram so it was really nice to see Louise from Pattern Pals and also Samantha from Purple Sewing Cloud and then also just to catch up again with um, Meg from Pigeon Wishes who I haven't seen in a while so yeah it was just a really nice fun evening out where we got to stroke fabrics and look at all of the pattern samples that got made up for the book which was really fun actually like more fun than I thought it was going to be if I was like oh I really hope the pattern samples are going to be there to look at but I wasn't I, I didn't think that that would be that fun but <laughs> it kind of was um and yeah just nice to see all the patterns made up and um see them in in real life and meet Tilly which was really really lovely um and also raise a glass of champagne because that was the day that I um accepted my new job offer so that was kind of a, a nice way to celebrate uh, so yeah I had a lot of fun I wore my Joni dress I've fallen back in love with the Joni dress again and actually one of the things I kind of wanted to talk about is how I feel like a lot of the things I'm making at the minute are really boring um which is means that I'm finding it not difficult to film but I mean yeah difficult to film because I'm I'm wondering whether you guys are interested in seeing six more pairs of flint shorts that I've made because I've decided I want to live in them or whether you want to see me make Joni dresses again um because I've talked about Joni dresses on the vlog before but actually I'm really going back to my wardrobe and looking at what works and what gets worn a lot and what um garments I love but kind of have gone off for whatever reason so like the Joni dresses that I own aren't finished very well on the inside and so I don't wear them very often anymore so actually making new ones is really nice and I love having them back in my wardrobe again and I've got several more planned but yeah I don't want you guys to just get bored of me saying I made flint shorts and I made a Joni dress and they're great <laughs> um so yeah I've been kind of playing around with that in my head a little bit uh recently just to make sure that I'm still interesting <laughs> to listen to um but i'm making things that i want in my wardrobe so that was kind of another little kind of couple of life update things that i wanted to talk about the other thing is i am getting a cutting table and um, i have decided that the best way to deal with the fact that my sewing room is always messy is to spread out into other rooms in my house and make those messy too <laughs> so we have a spare bedroom which is on the same floor as um the sewing room and it very rarely gets used because we don't have visitors come and stay very often and I thought it would be a really good place to put up a cutting table and um, so over Christmas I used the dining table to cut out on a little bit and I really loved having that extra space but the dining table isn't a very ideal shape or height and it's kind of it's right in the corner of our living room so it's a bit tricky it's not it's not that suitable so I am going to get a cutting table that 
height will be adjustable height and will go over the bed in the spare room so I can get around it and I've got plenty of space and we've moved around quite a lot of stuff in the, in the spare room recently and it means that I've also got my ironing board in there and all my um, like some of my pressing stuff and I it means I can have like my twirl fabric in there and um, just like yeah things for pressing and cutting and all my patterns are in there and that is really exciting because it just means I've got a little bit more space to spread out in here <laughs> which is always useful <laughs> so those are my extra little life updates for you I hope you enjoy the rest of the five um, woven fabrics that I don't know what to do with and hopefully you guys can help me out a little bit on with the fabrics now we're on to proper wovens now I have this it's a silky polyester um, in a really gorgeous print that if you described it to me I probably wouldn't have picked it um, this is from kind of a bit of a pre-runner of the fabric edit which is a fabric shop run by Jay at the Camden Stitch because she sort of trialed out going and picking out bits and pieces and sent it to some people that she knew um, like sent pictures of them for people to choose what to buy to give her a bit of an idea of what people liked and I picked up this it's beautifully soft it, it is a poly um, and I'm considering making a Calvin wrap dress when I ever make a toile of it to check if it fits me um, because I think it would be really cool worn with a t-shirt underneath it big thick tights um, big like biker boots <laughs> and a jacket I think it will look really cool but I can't quite convince myself if I can pull it off so I would like help <laughs> again on that um also this would make beautiful underwear and I am really kind of getting back into underwear making again and um, like I said you can see all of this stuff here um i have pattern tested a new bra that's coming out a new bralette if you head over to my community page there's a kind of sneak peek on there and it's a jersey bralette so that wouldn't work for it but um it's got me back into pattern it's got me back into underwear making because i got a little bit put off of bra making because i just lost a bit of confidence with it and i didn't really think i was going to be good enough but this bralette is a really nice transition like confidence builder because it is still a bralette it's not as complex as a bra <laughs> but it has a lot of the features and a lot of the skills that you need so yeah I'm quite intrigued by that and that would make beautiful <laughs> beautiful underwear um, which would be quite fun and the pattern company Harry Ito who are linked up and affiliated with Small Bobbins which is run by Kirsten who I ran Nick and November with um, they have a nice woven bra pattern that I think that would work really well with um yeah if not it might end up as a misty cami but I've got three meters of it I think so I've got plenty to play with like even if I chose to make the Calvin wrap dress I'm still gonna have like a good meter left I think fabric number six seven I think I might have 11 fabrics here no seven this is fabric number seven is this corduroy which i bought last summer no not even last summer like last april um on ebay i bought two meters of it it's got these fun bees on it and it's this beautiful mustard and i bought it to make a pair of dungarees but didn't really have a very good dungaree pattern and i don't really know what i was thinking um didn't even cut into them i bought them as part of the satisfaction um great british sewing the sew along um for cotton week i think and then i ended up making something else now obviously i do have a really nice dungaree pattern now but i cannot decide if i will wear dungarees of this fabric so is this one that i just need to de-stash somewhere because it's beautiful and actually it's from there's a company called oh i can't remember what they're called they do dungarees and shirts and shorts and stuff in cool fabrics they have um a fox dress that i really like oh what is the name run and fly run and fly is the name of the shop 
and um they they use this fabric and they also use one in this color way with dinosaurs over it in a cord which i think i prefer <laughs> um so i'm not sure whether to kind of sell this one and then buy the dinosaur one instead i'll try and put a picture in of the dinosaur one um or whether to make something else with this i mean it's a lovely cord and maybe like a cute skirt or something would be really nice in it i don't know you know what i'm gonna say i need your help <laughs> Fabric number seven is a cotton sateen that I bought from Home Soon um, last November or December, like in their sales. And I bought it to make myself a pair of the Love Notions Sabrina Slims, but have not had much success with that pattern. And I now have the neater trousers, which I really love, which I'm looking forward to cutting out the black cotton sateen I bought for a pair of work trousers out of that but I bought this in a little bit of a moment of sale induced madness where I thought I could totally rock a pair of trousers out of this and I think I could, totally could but I don't know how often they'd get worn so I'm unsure whether to turn this into something else Um, I have plenty of skirt and dress patterns I've got two meters of it um, that I could try out but I'd like to know what you think like somehow I feel like wearing a dress made out of this will be slightly less crazy than a pair of trousers um it's a navy background rather than black but I think you could probably get away with it being black I think I can't actually tell now whether that's a lie and it is a black background so that shows you how easy it would be to get away with um but yeah I have two meters so please let me know what you think about that one um, number nine is I'm really looking for validation on this one <laughs> I think you have seen this before this is a velvet uphill, up, uphill street, upholstery velvet from Textile Express and I think I want to make a pencil skirt from this now I have been pattern testing a pencil skirt that is coming out from Pearson and Pope um, in their extended range their Agnes uh, pencil skirt I'll pop in a picture of my tester version here in a beautiful green wall and do you think that would work as a pencil skirt i don't know why i held it up to my face because that's not my pencil skirts go um because i think it'll be really cool uh to wear a bit more casually like i like the idea of pencil skirts with t-shirts and yeah i think this would be quite cool it's all my colors and it's just fun but still quite grown up so I'm looking for validation on that one, please. Um, and the final fabric is this. It's not going to I'm not going to be able to show you it very well. So I'm going to have to pop in the picture from the fabric listing. But this is from New Craft House and it is a NASA range X designer fabric. You can see it's got this. Oh, you can actually see it quite well. And um, it has an image from the moon landing on it. Now, for a science geek like me, this is cool <laughs> i'm really excited by this it's a cotton mm, it's just a cotton i think cotton lawn oh light went funny again um and it has yeah a beautiful image on it and it's so cool but it's kind of hard to see the print and so i have a meter and a half maybe two meters of this and it kind of the the print is a border so it kind of repeats back to front so i've got plenty of it to work with but i can't work out what the best way to showcase the fabric is so i'd really like your advice on something that i can wear that you would see the pattern i mean you don't have to see all of it but i think i mean that's obviously upside down now but <laughs> um but that isn't kind of too over the top you know i want something that i can wear day to day um they're my 10 fabrics that i need help with um so please let me know in the comments what you think you would do with them or whether you agree with what i've suggested for some of them i hope that was enjoyable guys thank you so much for watching and until next time bye